What's up, Old Bridge? I'm Evan. And I'm Avery, and welcome back to the nightly wrap-up. We're incredibly excited. Hold on, you forgot about us. We, too, want to say welcome back to the nightly wrap-up. So, welcome back to the nightly wrap-up. I just said that. I know. Anyway, girls, the show is going to be a little different this year. It's different every year. I know, but it's even more different this year. We are going to have two groups of anchors. Two seniors. And two juniors. And each group will be on every other week. What? Never mind. Shay, Yaz, Vic, and myself will see you next week. Bye! As I was saying before that mess, we are incredibly excited to be back to start the 2020 to 2021 school year. It's great to say 2021 school year. 2020, you know? Oh, I know. <laughs> we wanted to start off the school year with our school leadership. Dr. Sasso and all the vice principals were kind enough to sit down with Emmy and Ryan for a little conversation about this very different school opening, where we go from here and some ponderings on life in general. Ponderings on life? Evan, what are you talking about? I thought it sounded pretty good. I thought it sounded pretty good. Anyway, here's Emmy and Ryan. What's up, Old Bridge? I'm Ryan. And I'm Emmy. And welcome to a new segment we like to call Getting Personal with the Principals. With Dr. Sasso, Mrs. Fazio, Mr. Oliveri, and Mr. Mazzo. So, Sasso, what's your advice to the class of 2021 this year and the underclassmen? Everyone uh, across the board, our seniors, our juniors, sophomores, and freshmen, just stay connected. However we need to do, we feed off each other's energy. That's who we are and what's make, what makes us so great. And, and being connected and, and feeding off each other's energy, and if that's got to be through remote learning right now, then that's the case. And um, hopefully soon it'll be in person and, and little by little, like I said, getting back to normal. But uh, stay hopeful and stay connected. Let me ask you a question. I mean, so you've lived through this now, you know, the end of your junior year and now starting your senior year. Um, is, is, do you have any advice for me and for us of what we could do to help you guys stay connected and to stay hopeful? Just talk to us as much as, I, as, much as you can. Just stay connected with us. We're still very hopeful about going back to school, and I know the senior class has gotten really close over the past few months, too. And that's, that really is great to hear. And, and honestly, I thank, um, I thank all you guys for just coming up with this idea. I know Ryan and, and, and you, Emmy, to, to have us here socially distanced because you know it's important for us to get back to school. And so we have to all do our part. Um, and so uh, we really appreciate this feels as normal um, as it's been around here in a long time. So thank you for that. Mrs. Fazio, what do you love most about your job? you guys um, and it's been it's been so tough not seeing all of you you know seeing you guys um, every day and coming into the cafeteria and sitting at your table um, you know I, I miss all of that so that's that's what I you know what I really really miss the most um, um, Mr. Mazurk I have a question for you sure. what what made you realize that education was what you want to do in life like was there that one moment that you realized I think education is for me or how did you come along I, I also worked at a bakery, and that was something. I had a little bit of passion for the culinary arts, and um, but my boss happened to be a teacher, and uh, he was a great influence on me. And um, so one day I asked him about teaching. You know, I want to, you know, eventually be a teacher, and he kind of laughed at me and said, "You don't want to be a teacher. Not enough money, you know, you can make in teaching." Um, but I didn't listen to him, and uh, that was probably the best advice I didn't take. So um, I guess you can say that. Good story. Um, you know, I have a rebound question for you though you know is there something in your future that you'd want to do um i think now being part of this like amazing tv program that i'm in i think definitely i want to do something with tv so stuff, stuff like communications or maybe broadcast journalism stuff where i'm around like camera as audio light i think is where i'm at my best and i think doing this right now is where i'm at my best as well being in like i said like this amazing tv program and giving mr g giving me opportunity to enter the program and I really enjoy it now and very thankful that I got the opportunity to do this because I really love it. And Mr. Oliveri, what is your favorite thing to do outside of school? 
I know you're in a band. I've seen you perform at some, <laughs> some, some of the pep crowds. I've seen you play the guitar. Sure, sure. That, what, what's the that? name? What's the name of that band? The, my, well, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> which one? The current one with yeah, uh, Mr. The, Beverly and, and uh, Mr. Torok? Yeah. What's Log on a bench. Log was on the bench. name. Log was the name. Is that one of your favorite things? To do so with? yeah, outside of spending time with my children, I have three kids myself. Um, Outside of spending time with them, yeah, there's for me there's no better um, way to kind of relieve stress and just kind of, you know, kind of get into that that uh, zen kind of place than just picking up the guitar and and, uh, and and playing for a while. Yeah. And I really do love it, and it's something I wish I did more of. But yeah, that's that's it for sure. There are many things that feel different this fall, but one thing that helps make things feel normal is our fall sports teams back on the field. All of the teams kicked off last week, and it was a beautiful sight to see our athletes competing again. Here are Nick and Dan to update us about all the action. Guys? What's up, Old Bridge? I'm Nick. And I'm Dan. And we're here to bring you the latest updates on Old Bridge Fall Sports. The Old Bridge football team beat East Brunswick last week in the Battle of Route 18 at a total score of 35 to 20. They'll play for Amboy this Friday, as it will be a tough game. Good luck, boys. I mean, it's kind of looking like an 8-0 season again like last year. What do you think? Just can't be. All right, moving on to girls cross country. They started off the season on a strong note, beating Matuchin in their first dual meet of the season. Good job, girls. Can't wait to see what the season holds for you. The boys recently won the Central Jersey shootout race against multiple teams. They got the win by one over Union Catholic, and they keep getting better day by day. Good job, boys. The boys soccer team recently got the win versus Perth Amboy in a game that was 3-1 to them. Jake Luca and Ethan Barnhart scored the first two goals as Justin Lee Sam sealed the game, making it 3-1. Today we're actually here with Captain Justin Lee Sam. Justin, what do you feel that your team's goals are for the season? Um, our goals this season are to have a winning record, to go far in sectionals, and to beat East Brunswick and Monroe. And how do you think your team is going to perform overall this year? As a whole, I think our team will do very well this season. Um, it will be very challenging for other teams to get through our defense. The girls soccer team beat Monroe last week in overtime, 1-0. Naomi Dinovelis assisted to her sister, Emmy, to get the game-winning goal. Good job, girls. Who do you think will win in a game, the boys or girls team? To be honest, I think The girls field hockey team kicked off this season with senior night. After speaking with captain Dylan Gamray, she said that she wants to see everyone improve this season and that she's excited to see what the season holds for them. Congrats on your commitment to Rainbow Public College, Dylan. Can't wait to see what you and the girls do this season. Good luck. The girls' tennis team has been off to a really good start this year. Seniors Alana Freeman and Olivia Karkover plan to lead the team for the whole year. Olivia Karkover placed third in the GMC last year and plans to make that statement again this year. We couldn't be any more excited to see fall sports back in Oldbridge again. Good luck to everyone in the next upcoming races, matches, and events. See you guys later. We love seeing the sports back. You know, I'm an athlete too. I know, basketball, right? That's right. I think it's important to get involved. Possibly now, even more than ever. Definitely. That's some good advice for all the ninth graders out there. Get involved and you'll feel more connected to the school and have a more fulfilling experience. Well said. And if you're wondering how to get involved in this crazy new world, club information is coming out soon. Stay tuned. For all the ninth and tenth graders out there, we're going to be doing an advice segment next week. You'll be getting more information this week, but send in your video questions and we are going to feature someone next week's show and do our best to answer them. That's what all the upperclassmen are here for, to use our experience to help out our younger members of our OBHS family. Right, junior crew? I can't believe I'm already a junior. High school really does fly by. It really does. I knew it would go fast, but I didn't realize it was going to Zoom. Oh, no. Zoom, you get it? Remote learning? Oh, I get it, but we use Microsoft Teams. Well, I couldn't very well say just Teams by. So, anyway, that about says it. I'm Grace. I'm Olivia. I'm Avery. And I'm Evan. And remember, it's, it's always, always nighttime, nighttime in Old Bridge. Bridge.